Hi everyone. Uh, today is day 61. And you, you know, I, I like to be friends with everybody. And I like to recall all my uh, friends from Mombasa. Uh, Mombasa was part of my life. I grew up there. And I like everyone to know each other. And uh, I tried to get hold of a few people and I succeeded. But this one guy is a saint. He was in the first uh, building in our uh, municipal flats. I'm talking about saying, anyway, this guy, uh, I got his email address because I couldn't get his uh, any other. And he lives in Germany somewhere. And uh, I wrote to him. And I uh, said, hi, how are you? I'm Kutun and all that thing. But he replied me, I don't know you. <laughs> Either it's by, he's uh, frightened of me, or is he keeping a low profile because he doesn't want me to he may be thinking that I want to go and visit him in Germany, no chance. I don't, if I go any place, I'll go and stay in a hotel. I'll never, I don't like staying with people. And uh, if I can help it, but uh, most people want me to stay with them, but I'm not, I'm not very happy. I, I like my independence. I can afford to stay in a hotel. When I can, when I go to uh, Kenya, I was staying in that uh, White Sands. It was hundred pounds a day. And these guys think uh, that I, I will go and scrounge on them. I just wanted to be friendly, but. Uh, I even have a photograph of this guy with another chap. I think he was a Tamilian chap. And they were friends in Alina Vistra for technical high school. I don't know which school they went to. But uh, knowing me, I was, of course, I was a Mukora those days. I was a rogue. And me, many people were, were scared of uh, being friends with me. And many people were very friendly with me. Um, I got to know a few people from here and there, and uh, I'm still corresponding with those people on WhatsApp and so on. It's nice to know that our old friends in Mombasa are still very fond of each other because we had a life in Mombasa that uh, nobody can describe. I get people from uh, Dar es Salaam talking about their Dar es Salaam life, which is so fantastic. It's just like us. Their life was fantastic for them. I came to know about a friend uh, I went to uh, stay, I stayed with, uh, with a friend in Moshi or Arusha or somewhere. And uh, I, I came to know that he passed away four years ago. It was very sad for me to, I, I thought I would, next time I go to India, I'll go and meet him because I came to know where he stays. Anyway. What has happened has happened and can't really bring back the past. Uh, Christmas is a time when, when you try to remember everybody. But 
for me, I like everyone. If I if I have a chance, I would throw a big party and meet everybody, and that, that's the kind of type of guy I am. But uh, not everyone is like me. <laughs> everybody is different, of course. And uh, I was very upset. Go every time I go and see my daughter, I get very upset. Because I can't see the sadness. Sadness in her face is too much to cope. But I hope everyone understands that we are trying to cope. I feel she is just beside me or standing behind and trying to hold my neck like uh, the pictures you may have seen. But uh, those lovely days and last Christmas was fantastic when she was alive. This Christmas we are going to miss her terribly. But uh, I can talk about other friends, other places I've been, and uh, there are this guy's uh, younger brother is in states, and he's a well-known guy. He studied in uh, some imperial college in London, and he moved to states, and he's and his brother in Germany. They are brothers. They don't talk to each other. How canny is that? I don't know why they don't talk to each other. Life is too short. If you want to talk, you talk. There's nothing uh, sinister about not talking to your brother or not talk, talking to your sister or not talking to your friends. And there's another guy in London somewhere. He, he doesn't want to. He's been given my number, but he doesn't want to talk, it seems. Well, if he doesn't want to talk to me, fine. I'm not bothered. But I found out another guy, long time ago, was, uh, he was working in Mombasa and Kenya, uh, East Africa, I would say, Dar es Salaam and all that. Uh, now he's here. And I'm glad to say that I've had contact with him. I'm very, very happy to have known him. Uh, we've been together to Moshe Arusha, all that place. I actually invited myself when he was going there by, with his uh, VW car. And uh, it was just down the road those days. My cousin was with me as well. Uh, he actually was going to take his, take my cousin with him and go, but uh, I sort of invited myself. <laughs> I think that's what happened. Anyway, time has passed. And now we are uh, getting old. Everyone wants to meet each other. I had a terrific life anyway. Uh, if I die tomorrow, I won't. I don't think it's... Uh, uh, I, I, there's no regret. Because I li I'll live my life in the full... My stomach can say about it. <laughs> but uh, I got so many friends now. I wouldn't like to let them down. They'd like to hear my stories. Hello. Whoever is listening, I hope my stories, you don't have nightmares. <laughs> anyway, I enjoy talking to you. It's a kind of therapy for me talking to you. I know I'm talking to myself when I'm looking at uh, the camera, but Remember, you are helping me to overcome my sadness. Thank you very much. God bless. And... Uh,
I hope you get a vaccine very soon. Go for it. Don't hesitate. There's nothing wrong in going for a vaccine. Vaccine is, um, it'll help you survive. But if you're a person, you can't go out of the house, I don't think they'll call you for a vaccine. Bye for now. Take care. And uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe for me. That's the magic word. Bye-bye now. Cheers.